Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, today we are back with more EU4 Poland. Uh, not, I mean not much to say besides so far. Literally we've declared one war, took two provinces and now have quite a bit I believe of aggressive expansion. Yeah 36, 40, 48, 48. So a good amount with some regions. That I would rather not have that kind of aggressive expansion with because I don't want them to cause I don't want I don't want any kind of coalition against me and the HRE loves coalitions so I want to stay away from that as much as possible. So, uh, yeah. So last time we went to war with the Teutons, uh, I was thinking about going to war with Hungary. That wouldn't work out in my favor. I think this episode. Uh, I think this episode we'll start annexing the vassal Moz, uh, Mazovia. Uh, that way, I can kind of start consolidating and building up a better force for when the peace treaty with the Teutons is over in 1467. Fifteen years from now, that is oh, 14 now. That is crazy. Riga, however, is looking right for the taking. They will be my friends. I can't fabricate on them. No. And I don't think they'd want to be my vassal. They are actually pretty close to it, but the economic base is too different. And I honestly don't know what to do about that. They're allied with Bremen, which is a huge, 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 huge advantage for me, personally. Uh, actually, no, they're not, because they're all the way over here somewhere. I don't know. Click on the button again. Right there. So, yeah, they're not really that much of an advantage, but I don't know if they're part of the HRV, actually. Okay, it's East Frisia that's not. But that would be maybe a good vassal. I don't know. I really do not know. However, I want to claim their... I want to claim their land. I want to claim their shit because um, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to claim other people's shit. Let's see, let's see. How'd you get Bavaria in a friggin' Union? How did that even happen? Wow, I don't want to fuck with them more if they got Bavaria. Sweden broke free. Sweden would totally become friends with me, even though um, I don't like Hungary. That might be a worthwhile alliance. Because, uh, I mean, wars against Muscovy would be very 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 simple <laughs> going forward crazy simple um lithuania has one claim on the whole planet i'm not doing much better mosavia is not doing much better <laughs> the, the two times are doing way better than all of us combined uh riga has a claim Piscov. no bra muscle bay Alright, so the next war I kind of want to initiate would probably be Crimea or the Great Horde. But uh, I don't want to interrupt anything in the HRE. I don't want to get any more aggressive expansion. So we're just going to start going, start playing, and yeah, go forward and see what we can do. I, I definitely want to core uh, Danzig and get started on some of these missions. Which uh, means to take Minsk. That's that's Hungary. Does this want me to take Hungary's provinces? I'd be down with taking Hungary's provinces, but that's no Minsk is over here. Yeah, that's all. Oh shit! <coughs> that's like form the Commonwealth. Form the Commonwealth. I don't know how to do that anymore. Bohemian Union? Weird. Weird, 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 weird. Poland is owned by Poland. Uh, Lithuania has high liberty to desire. Alright, well, my trader just died. Yippee. Why do you have high liberty desire? I grew you by a province. Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? 
Oh my goodness gracious. What do I have to do? Uh, I can give you subsidies. I can influence your nation. But that's, I mean, that's relations, which I already have the most I can. Yeah, diplomat. Oh, my diplomatic reputation also went down. 50%'s not bad. He won't declare on me anytime soon. He's still loyal to me, so I'm not too, too worried about it. It's just I have to really watch that that doesn't get out of hand. Now I don't have enough rivals. I'm definitely going to go with Muscovy. Because they rivaled me, and that makes my rivals look pretty. Because they're all three rival me, and I rival them. So, I like it. I like it a lot, and that's what we're going to do. Sorry for the sniffles. It just turned, like, real fall. It started getting cold. And messing with my allergies. So, it's 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 been a little not fun around where I live uh, recently. So, yeah, that's just great. I want to, like, do stuff with my dude, but there's nothing. Oh, yeah, I can do this. Uh, yeah, we're going to annex the Vassal Mazovia. Uh, and I guess I can stop making friendly with them. And instead, I mean, I can start fabricating on people, but, like, that's going to call on the ancient ringleader. I have a, I believe I have the same amount of peace treaty with them. They have peace with me for a good little bit. They lost their alliance. But, oh, I, I fucked Mecklenburg. Oh, that's good to know. So with my province here and here, I can get Pomerania and Denmark and Denmark, Teutons, and Livonian Order. So I really can't do anything. New down south, you are still loyal to um, Hungary. Nothing I can do in crime. I mean, there's nothing I can really do with this last diplomat. Uh, besides Austria. So, that's what I'll focus on with him. I'm still trying to figure out these, like, how do I become... Decisions. There we go. Mosavia does not exist. Admin tech at least 10. So, it's going to take a bit. Lithuania has to own less than 58 cities. Okay. Interesting. Did not know that. So, I need Warsaw, Gdansk, Marienburg. Warsaw. Marienburg's over here. I don't know where good things or Danks or good Danks or whatever the whatever the hell I don't know where that is. Da, 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 I'm looking. I'm look, I, I I think if he owns it, then we're we're gonna have a problem. <laughs> I don't think they would do that. That literally makes no sense. All right, let me find province and. Find good eggs, so we're not sitting here. Oh, Danzig. That's why I wouldn't know where it was because it's no longer called what it's called anymore. So I really need Warsaw and Marienburg, which I'm going to get when Mozovia doesn't exist, which is another thing. Mozovia cannot exist. And then I'm in tech, just needs to be level 10. And then we can form the po uh, Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth, which is pretty, pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty, pretty sweet. And that's the goal. So. That's all good things. Uh, what's my... I almost improve relations with him as much as possible. I'm going to improve relations with Novgorod. Just to kind of create like a triangle here to stop Muscovy's mad dash expansion to be... Expansion to become the mighty and all-powerful... Uh, whatchamacallit? You know, the whatchamacallits. I'm going to grab another Diplo guy. And then... I don't want to focus on it just because my military tech sucks. I mean, we're talking literally plus four, uh, plus four every month, and that's just not good enough. Bohemia is that one with Saxony? Oh, you're the attacker. I was like, did you, did friggin' Saxony declare the wrong kind of war? Saxony mains in Brunswick. 
An ohm. I mean, ohm's an OP. I mean, that's that's ballsy, Bohemia. Because now you have rebels. So, like, I don't know who's going to win that one. I'm ranked number two. Yeah, bitches. Oh, no. He's loyal to France. Stand over. Oh, France kicked England out in, like, five freaking seconds. Oh, but now England's destroying Burgundy. That was a smart move, actually. Peace out, France, to just to run over and take out Burgundy real fast. It's a smart move. I'm going to actually repair some relations with the Ottomans. The Ottomans yeah, might be able to become a good alliance member to me later on. I don't know yet. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out as time goes on. Money's still going up, which is all good with me. As long as my money goes up, I'm as happy as can be. I'm alone in the world, but they know what they say when they come from my head. And all I got is a, some bread. I don't know. I'm the next Eminem. You're some from Shady, you're some from the real Shady. All you other from Shady are just demotated. Da 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 da. Do, 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 do. 5,000 manpower. Alright, we're still getting our manpower back up. So that's, 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 that's pretty, that's pretty okay, I guess. I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know what's happening anymore. I kind of just let the game play and follow it. The next couple years might get a little, a little boring only because there's not really much I can do. Being surrounded by the HRE, being surrounded by Hungary, with Moldavia, which is still Hungary, then Lithuania, who's my ally. And then, I mean, I could possibly declare a Muscovy, but that would be very, very ballsy and risky. And the last thing I want to do is screw up my country just right after I got out of war. And yeah, they, they don't really have less, they have access to more men than me. So I don't want to push my luck. Novgorod, however, looking a little weak, but allied with Sweden. Sweden, I think, is actually looking very, very powerful. 24,000 and not. Less powerful than I thought, but still pretty dang powerful. I love I would love to have Norway though. That'd be pretty that'd be pretty sweet. Oh no, I just noticed the rebel faction over here growing in power. Oh no. Oh no 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 Oh wait, it's not even in my land. Heh! Who cares? Lithuania can deal with them. Smolensk. Independence for Smolensk. Oh, they're... Well, what the fuck was the... Oh, they're noble rebels? I'm not helping you fight them. I'll help you fight your, uh... Your separatists, because... I don't want anyone breaking off. <laughs> Bless you. But, uh... Yeah, what I'm hoping is... Once Mosavia is under the Polish flag, everything's going to be good, united, good, great, good, steady, rock and roll, all that good stuff. Then we could declare war on the Teutonic Order eventually one day um, in 12 years, which, I mean, it's not really that long considering a peace treaty lasts 15 years, so I'm already halfway through that time period. Uh, is that the capital? Where is your capital anyway? Oh, Vilnius. So you're just chilling on it. All right. That's good to know. What's your culture? Oh, Lithuanian. Okay, that makes sense. I thought you'd be like, uh, like, like Kievan or something like that. Ruthenian. You know, some Ry Wait, Ryazanian? <laughs> Never heard of some of these cultures in my life, but it shows you how good of, uh, how good of, uh, Samaritan I am to know all that stuff. Ah, let me finish. Drinking my orange vanilla Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Like, like I couldn't say Coke and you still know what I mean. Man. Sounded fancy today. Oh, you beat home. This is a weird war so far. Like, Bohemians is not Bohemians. Lekker suspects neighbors. Having a spy master in our employ has mainly contributed to our intelligence gathering abroad, but whoever sometimes coordinates counter espionage as well. Recently, his investigations have un uncovered a conspiracy that would 
only be the work of one of our neighboring countries, which neighbors behind it remains unclear, but the constant exchanges of information will require those behind it to be close by. Someone has prepared to round up and harshly question a number of foreign officials who might be involved, but conflicting theories about the culprits leaves it up to the Grand Duke to decide who to target. Our neighbors will probably not appreciate the accusation, but something needs to be done and fast. So it's either Celestia or the Teutonic Order. I don't care about Celestia's opinion of me. They are under Bohemia, so whatever Bohemia thinks, they're going to think. But I, don't, I hate the Teutons. The Teutons already hate me, so it doesn't really matter to me to say, you know, get them to hate me more. And, and now, oh, they're on fire. They want some of my land. It's not getting trade power from. Like, like I'm not the reason that they're getting, like, the war is the reason that we're getting trade power from them. <laughs> this will be done in 63 and September. Of, so it'll be done four years before the war with the Teutonic Order, which is pretty dang good, except I don't have any claims on their country, which I didn't notice. Uh, I'm going to take the trade power minus 10 only because Diplo power is something that's not gaining at a good speed right now. So I'm not going to lose out on that stuff. Da, 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 da. However, extensions going to be managed soon enough, which is really good. I mean, so so far so good. Um, I was actually worried that the war with the Teutons might kind of disrupt my neighbors a little bit more. But then again, I was going to try to take three territories. I only got two just because I didn't want to have any problems. Uh, why does this matter to me? That country's influence. By spending ten prestige. He's freaking fifty-three years old. He's gonna die before our guy dies. I'm not worried about that. Come on, game. Give me something real to worry about, man. Uh, da, da, da. What are our ideas actually? I've never really looked at this. Polish traditions, cavalry cost minus ten percent, max promoted cultures plus one. Uh and our overall, you know, after we've done everything, this tolerance of heretics. I'm gonna do this because I want the number of idea. Actually, I'm not gonna do this. I'm instead going to build up Krakow by two. Admins, just because I don't need to yet. It's zero percent, so I'm, you know, I'm paying what I would pay, but I don't need an idea yet to feel good. But oh, that penalty is gonna get worse over time. But that, if this drops to minus five percent, then I'm paying a net zero, whereas right now I'm paying a five percent. So, you know, math. <laughs> oh, anywho. Oh, oh god. Oh god, what is happening? Trade over long distances can be risky if profitable. The weather begins and pirates remain a threat on land as well as on water. Normally, the burgers can cope with a certain amount of mishaps and have their own ways to protect themselves and ensure their cargo. Lately, however, things have been going badly for a large number of merchant families, and some are at risk of bankruptcy. It may be prudent to offer some financial compensation to get them back on their feet. Compensate the traders... They knew what they were getting into, which is lose influence, and I don't have a hundred ducats, and I don't really care. But a hundred ducats for one mercantilism, like I don't know how good it is to have mercantilism. Currently, it was following the fence. Ooh, that's actually pretty solid. That provincial trade power, but my country is not based around trade, so. I'm not going to worry about, like, like if I was playing as Venice, I would, see, you know, a lot of things would be different. I'm just going to give them the five prestige to kind of straighten out exactly what that thing just did. So really, I paid five prestige that for everything to stay the same, which is fine instead of losing 100 gold to gain a little bit of trade power. But trade is not the money maker of this country, especially if you go here. I mean, 18.5% of my the last month last month's income come f came from trade 
it's really not it's enough to keep me positive but besides that it's really really nothing so i'm not gonna sit here and i'm not gonna worry about every little thing that comes my way i am totally gonna make west prussia a, a state because of danzig danzig is such a good property to build up on like it is one of the best i'm gonna spend the 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 the, the, the admin to do what i gotta do and to keep it rolling and then when we hit the amount we need to hit hopefully this won't be at 10 percent. when we hit the amount i will hit the button get the ideas and my first idea i don't know what yet but uh hopefully it'll be something to build the country a little better going forward not to say i can't do it i think i proved myself a very worthy uh diplomat in the polish realm back in you know 1450s ah ah I, I don't like these literally 54 I don't know why we're so worried about it damn alright recall my diplomat from that area let's see how my allies are doing Lithuania could do with some uh, improved relations. Now they are becoming disloyal. Yeah, they reached fifty-two percent because that better diplomatic technology. I'm sorry that I am trying to annex a country and it takes a lot of diplomatic peel. No one man should have all that peel. What kind of rule are you? Alright, so Novograd's done. Wow, you look like you were. I mean, that war. That war didn't give them very much, did it? Oh, you're still at war. Oh. Well. Good luck with that. Ba 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 God dang it, Lithuania. Freaking do anybody but freaking Muscovy. God damn. Sorry if you hear a vibration in the background. My phone is going crazy. I'm super popular today for some reason. I'm never popular. This is a rarity for me. B below, below zero. That's really what that says. Your country's name is below zero. Good job. 10 out of 10. After we annex them, I might ally Brandenburg. Not entirely sure yet, but they don't hate the two tons. They're not really trying to gun for Newmark, so. I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, you're a center. You're a center. Oh, now Saxony is our foreign heir. I don't know. I don't know how to promote. My own people, because it's like if you do it, it'll be super, super good. But, like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, you have a three star general. It's pretty sob. <sighs> so, uh, yeah. I don't know where to expand next. I'm, try I'm trying to map out where to go. I think in terms of trade, taking more of the Baltic Sea would be ideally fantastic. But at the same time, taking Crimea to push it to Kiev, to push it to Krakow would be a lot more uh, monetarily just better. And maybe it would work out more in my advantage. I don't know. Obviously, Baltic's worth more, but Baltic doesn't push to Krakow. So it doesn't matter if I have it or not. I, I don't. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of things I can do to improve my position in trade. Pos position in trade. I don't know what the heck I just said. Uh, but as of right now, I have no clue on how to go about strengthening my position and weakening my enemies. Also, my allies. Because as anyone who actually plays EU4 will know, your allies are only allies for so long until you don't need them anymore. And then you just cut them off and destroy them. So I'm looking forward to that part. But for now, I mean, we've grown by two provinces. We have just stayed grown by those two provinces. I can handle that. 
Um, but I think I'm going to end this one here, guys. Um, only because, I mean, we're almost 50% of getting Mazovias, so that'll be great to have though the, them completely under my control. Free up that demonic relation. Probably ally Bohemia, because they just got stronger, but maybe also... You can't do both because they're allied with or they're rivals. So it's either Brandenburg or Bohemia. Let me know in the comments below which one you think will make the better ally in the long run. Also, there's Sweden, and we will have two slots. So if Sweden's a good answer, I might ally Sweden as well. The only problem is I don't want to be pulled into a war that I have no interest in being in, which typically happens with Sweden. So, you know, I don't know. I really don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see coming up. Uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy. And uh, subscribe to stay up to date on my videos. Until next time, guys. Bye.